I was not raised to hate. And that's such a strong word, but I hate him. I hate him for what he did to our sons. It's been 10 years since nine-year-old Andrew, seven-year-old Alexander, and five-year-old Tanner Skelton went missing from the town of Morency. Their father, John Skelton, still in prison for their disappearance. Their mother, Tanya, still heartbroken and without answers. The investigation into the Skelton boys' disappearance continues tonight. With these latest age progression pictures of Andrew, Alexander, and Tanner released just today, authorities want you to keep an eye out for these faces. As our Sandra Ali reports, their mother remains in Morency with the same sadness and frustration after 10 long years. The police investigation is still very much active with detectives hopeful someone out there who may have seen something might one day come forward. The boy's mother still in Morency dealing with the same sadness and frustration after 10 very long years. Because we don't have answers. Um, no, it doesn't get easier. November 26th, Black Friday, 2010. John Skelton, father of Andrew, Alexander, and Tanner, was supposed to return the boys to their mother, Tanya, after spending time with him for the Thanksgiving holiday. When she couldn't get straight answers from John on where the boys were, she got worried. John claimed to have given the boys to an underground group to keep them safe from Tanya, who he claimed was abusive to the boys. John's story about the underground group and the mother hurting the children was never verified. Many believe John murdered his boys, but there isn't physical evidence of that. This is not a, a case of everyone hates John Skelton. We just want to find these boys. Lead investigator Jeremy Brewer, who now works undercover, which is why we can't show his face, says John Skelton is still holding back key information and they're only able to work with what they have. But we can't create evidence. You know, we were reactive as to what is presented to us. When Tanya thinks of her boys and what she's missed, it breaks her heart. And I think 19, wow. She's missed their formative years, and while many are willing to believe the worst has happened to them, Tanya won't let herself go there. There's still that 1% chance that they could come knock on my door. John Skelton was up for parole in September. He was denied. Tanya says it's unnerving to think he could get out of prison. So I always have maintained that he's not going to get his parole. But there's always that little nag that says, but what if? So when the letter came, I was, I mean, it was a huge relief. He'll be up for parole again in two years, and that might be the end of his time behind bars. It's a very different feeling um, contemplating in the next year or two, he probably will be out when we get tips that come in and when we have things that um, we feel like are worth looking at, we still are doing that just like it just happened. And 10 years later, John is still the only one who knows what happened to the boys. But I hate him. I hate him for what he did to our sons. You just want to scream, tell the truth, be a man, grow up, quit hiding behind your lies. Life is not all about John Scout. We're talking three innocent children. And you can show your support by being part of a virtual Facebook gathering, keeping hope alive. It's Saturday, November 28th, and there's a link on our website, clickondetroit.com. Investigators also still urging anyone to call with any information you might have. That number, 517-636-0689. Back to you. All right, Sandra, thank you. And by the way, John Skelton is serving 10 to 15 years for wrongful imprisonment. He was denied parole in September, but will be up again in two years. Investigators aren't positive he'll be denied again.